again. Sup nerds! So today I am joined for the first time in a long time with me friend Cassie. Hello! So you might have remembered I used to call her Vera but we don't do that anymore. So today we are doing a little video that I've planned since May <laughs> that I want to, I have all this food over here that I brought back with me from Japan. So together we are going to try some of these foods and Cassie made, suggested this great thing that we rate each food 1 to 10 weeaboos. I felt it was appropriate. Well, so. for me at least. <laughs> Apparently so. she's actually part Japanese. Very, 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 very small percentage. So. So first, since they're already opened, because I never actually finished them, I have these Calbee chips, and I am not going to say what flavor they are, because I really want to see her guess what kind of flavor they are. I feel like I, mean, I can already had one chip, guess by but... the... I feel like I can guess by the outside of the bag, though. Yeah, what do you think? Well, green is usually representative of uh, onion, so I'm, I'm gonna assume it's green onion because that's very popular flavor for Japan. Wrong. Is it? I mean, they're good, but... Are you sure it's not green onion? Mm-hmm. Positive. So it's supposed to be like wasabi or something? No? I'm trying to base it off of the green, but... Mm, that genuine crunch even though the these are like... The smell isn't as poignant as it was when I first got it, but... I, I honestly give up. Seaweed. Oh. It's seaweed? Mm-hmm. Anyway, I'm pretty <laughs> good at, you know, chips-wise since that is my favorite snack. So I want to rate this. Since they are a little stale, I'm going to give them 8 out of 10 weeaboos. I will also do 8 of 10. They were pretty good when I first had them. Just because I didn't have the pleasure of tasting them. It was super crisp and the flavor is really kind of subtle. The saltiness isn't like super salty and sodium filled like all American chips. And what else? And just, I don't know, the flavor in general, it doesn't really taste strongly of seaweed, you know? Like, yeah, it was very mild. The flavors are very subtle. There it wasn't a lot of salt, as you were saying. It could taste like it green tasted, onion, in it a way. It's what I thought it was, and then the missionary dude who was buying all our snacks was like, what flavor do you think this is? I'm curious. And I'm like, it's like green onion, right? And judging by the flakes, he's like, no, you're so wrong. And I'm like, what is it then? And he's like, seaweed. I'm like, okay, they're pretty good anyway. So that's what you were thinking when I was, you know, green onion, yeah. right? Yeah. No. And I'm like, yeah, no. All right. What is next? Let's try this. I don't really know what it is. I'm judging based off the picture, I'm going to say it's like a green tea, like cookie or chocolate. Can you feel it? It's kind of, ch I know there's like, there's a few of them in there. I want, it broke apart, I think. Oh, it broke apart. But, okay. This is what the package looks like. Ooh, voila. It's most likely green tea. Most likely. Sadly, we can't read the packages. I'm not Japanese. Well, you are a little bit. I'm not like, born Fluent. and raised. Want help? There we go. Oh my god, it, the package! It fell everywhere. Everywhere. Oh no! Crumbs everywhere. That is not as solid as I thought that was going to be. Yeah, let me just uh, pick up this crumb so you guys <laughs> don't... She has dogs, and I don't know if this is deadly dogs or not. That smells very green tea-ish. That was on the floor. So I'm going to need, you know, a little piece, a little piece of paste. Well, well, that was. It looks know. like it was part. It looks like it's mostly like chocolate or something, or candy type substance. So I'll just hand you half the package. Well, you can give me the smaller piece since I'm probably not gonna like this as much, judging by the smell. It smells very tea-ish. I will say. Did you smell it? Yeah, it does smell kind of like green tea.
Yeah, that, that tastes like green tea. It does taste like green tea. Thing with me and though, there's a little bit of a crunch to it. Yeah, it is kind of like a chocolate mushed cookie. The only thing with me about green tea though is that I always put a crap ton of sugar in it. Me too. And this doesn't taste like it has much sugar. It's still good though. Kind of. I like it. You can go ahead Very and sweet. rate it first since you liked it. I'm gonna go ahead and give this like. 7 out of 10 reboos because I mean it's sweet and it's kind of subtle and it's really small but because you know it's all crushed up I can't well, give it based on it's full flavor and what it actually would look like and that kind of thing but I it's still it a, good I give it a 3 out of 10 because uh not as much sugar as I would definitely like to have in it yeah, I can't eat any more okay. of this. Do you want the rest of mine? Because I can't. Okay. They cannot finish that. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know what these are. I'm guessing they're con some kind of like chewy gummy candy. But they look like little like droplets or something. And I thought it was so cute. Aww. Just the packaging is super cute. They remind me of the little dumplings. Dango, 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 dango. And it has this little like bag thing. So like you can... Oh, it looks like a little shopping bag, kind of. Kind of. That looks like your little tofu guy. Oh, and it has this little thing right here, so I'm oh, guessing like a I can... Tab. I'm guessing, yep, yep sure enough, that, on the that's, back. That's how you open it. So, I'm just going to go ahead. Preparing. Okay. There we go. That wasn't as bad. Oh, yeah, I just... I immediately, I ripped it off, and all I can smell is fruit gummy. I guess it smells good. strongly of fruit gummies. I've smelled that smell before, but I can't place it. It's smell I've smelled before. That kind of smelly smell that smells really <laughs> smelly. <laughs> cannot place it though. Okay. There seems to be only one color. It's like orange. An orange one. Oh it's my like gosh, they're so tiny. I know. Why are they so tiny? Because there's just. So itty bitty. Oh my gosh. Like, look how small it fits. Like, look how big that is. You had yours? What's it taste like? I want to say it's very reminiscent of peach. Could be. I'm a big fan of gummy candy though. They're really chewy. Mm -hmm. Like, intensely chewy. Yoshida! <laughs> Only thing I can read because it's not in the letters. It, there is kind of a fruit thing. I wouldn't know how to of it, but you could totally just eat, like, yeah, a handful I, I, I would of these. Like just, handful of these. I'd probably dump just the whole bag in my mouth because, mm -hmm. like, these, these are... I like these. Whatever these are. Wait. Okay, yeah, it smells like the fruit gummies. Like when you get the regular pack of fruit gummies. Mm -hmm. They smell like basically American fruit gummies. What would they taste, I think? Less sugary, honestly. More of the fruit flavor, less of the artificial sugars. True. Rating. Honestly, since gummy candies are my favorite and those are pretty good and they're giving me that hollow feeling that I usually feel in my stomach when I eat gummies, I'm gonna give them a 10 out of 10 weeaboos. Wow. Uh huh. Strong feelings. I like those. Those those are pretty. Those are pretty good. I'd say they're almost like hard, and they're kind of. Mm, they're not like the soft. Like I prefer my gummies to be like really soft. To where they like stick to where in your teeth. They basically melt in your mouth. How, how, like I love those. How am I, I even them. your friend? I like the ones that you can just chew and chew and chew, and then eventually they just disappear. I it? true that kind of makes the flavor last longer. Uh, I'm gonna give it like eight out of ten, just because I really I like gummy you like candy. Them melt in your mouth, gummies. I like gummies a lot because fruit gummies are just the best kind of snack. I mean, like, how can you not give them that extra two points for the packaging? Like, that is like the most weeaboo. 
kawaii Pag packaging I think I've ever freaking seen. Like, this is cute. There's little sparkles everywhere. There's like little <laughs> diamonds. Oh, look at that one. Oh, there's like an old couple. <laughs> I like the one that has the bunny and the, the bow on top. Yeah, the bunny and the bow. So, she likes this one the most. This little guy up here. I like this too because it's like a little old married couple. Oh, his little top hat and glasses is so cute. Okay, moving on. <laughs> moving on to pack from package design to, to okay. These look like they're some kind of like cracker cookie type thing covered in chocolate, and they look like I don't know trees? mountains or mountains or trees or something. I want to say they look like trees, possibly. Or pine cones! Ah, oh, yeah, pine cones would be a good guess too. Yeah. Some of them got crunched up. Oh, that, that smells very much like Pocky. Oh, yeah, it totally does. That's probably just a clump of <laughs> four of here. them. Okay, I'll take. I'll take. Ah. Okay, that works. So, this is what they look like. Sorry that they're all kind of gross and melted and clumped up, but. It tastes like Pocky too. It's very like cookie biscuit. I want to show it. It's Pocky definitely tastes better than those. This tastes like the chocolate on Pocky is like slightly slightly more bitter. Oh yeah, I can tell like... that. But the Pocky biscuits are definitely better than what this is. This tastes like American cookie biscuit. I always like Pocky chocolate. Oh, pretty good though. I'm getting a weird, like, aftertaste. Oh, I, I don't know yet, huh? It's like... Let me see if I can speed up the process of aftertaste. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a really weird aftertaste. I give 7 of 10 weeaboos. Oh, that's actually pretty good aftertaste. I like that. I'm gonna give it 9 out of 10. I give it a 9 out of 10. Those are good. I like the aftertaste. Okay. You should definitely save the best for last, though. Whatever you think, think is gonna be I the think best. The the mochi is gonna be the best. What is mochi? It's like oh, basically mushed right. Like I don't know how to explain it. Just it's don't like, explain it to me. Then I'll I'll, I'll you'll I'll, see. All we'll right. see. We'll so see. So I think the sakura mochi will be the second best. So we're gonna move on to the almond crunch pocky. What I've been waiting for. About a month ago, I saw that sitting there, and I'm like, you you gonna eat that? Cause, and I've been uh, waiting to do video. Okay, so. This box oh, part cool. happens to have two packages in it. That's good! You could have eaten one! <laughs> I could have, but I wanted to save the video. So, this is what it looks like in the little bag. Yes, they are all mushed up. It's okay. It happens. Did they let you bring the ramen as well? No, that I got. That Cassie gave to me. Oh, okay. So she got it in America. Got you. Not me, Cassie. Another My Cassie. Sister, Cassie. Her sister Cassie. Yeah. Pretty cool. I don't think that's gonna break apart easily. I can imagine it probably wouldn't. Yeah, no, see it's all in this gigantic freaking clump. Oh gosh, here we go. Yeah, it's you know, totally just good. At least break it into two pieces. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, there we go. Uh uh uh. You can have the one with more on it. So, ta-da! Ding! <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Jinx. You want me Pocky. <laughs> there you go. Mmm. That was really good. I don't think I can go back to eating regular Pocky now. <laughs> pretty good. Oh, man. Almond oh. and chocolate are my favorite thing. Almost tastes like a darker chocolate, too. I don't know what it is about this Pocky stick, the actual biscuit, but... It's kind of more yellow than normal Maybe Pocky sticks. Maybe they used a different bread or something. Probably. All I know is that that just changed my entire sight on Pocky. Like, that <laughs> opened my mind to a whole new world of what Pocky could be. What is your rating? Over 9,000 because <laughs> that was just... That was beautiful. Serious rating, of course, is 10 out of 10, but over 9,000, definitely. Mm -hmm. I'm also going to give it a 10 out of 10, just because the almond flavor is very subtle. And the... I feel like they probably could have added more almonds, though. 
make it to where it was like you have to bite into an entire almond itself. <laughs> you have a lot of that soccer emoji though. Well, it came in a box of like a gigantic box of 10. So me and 10 little boxes. So me and my friend split the money mm. and so they look like So cute! Aww. So, this is what the other packaging looks like with little sakura flowers. It says Sakura Matcha right here in really tiny writing that my camera won't focus on. Excuse me. Mm. That looks weird. Do they melt together? Or is it just one? I think it kind of melted together. Like a lot of my food melted together on the way. Oh. Yeah, they definitely melted it smells together. Smells sweet. Almost, it, it smells like ma like green tea, which is matcha. Oh, okay. Sakura matcha is just cherry blossom green tea. I don't know what the sakura was, but I was a little... Why didn't you just say green tea for matcha? Because <laughs> matcha. It was like wasabi, though. Whoa. <laughs> that was weird. Hmm. Like, I had one bite. It started, It tasted like matcha. And then, all of a sudden, I just got this, like, flower taste. Like... Yes, it's like this one is an acquired taste. Got to eat a little bit of it. Like it just tastes like flowers, and it's so good. I never thought eating flowers would be a good taste. <laughs> Honestly, I I, I wouldn't okay. have thought so either. But oh my gosh, ten out of ten. I'm actually gonna give this one a seven out of ten. I didn't like love it, but. It was decent. It was definitely better than that one matcha cookie, whatever we mm -hmm. had, the green tea cookie. I will totally eat all five boxes. Yeah. Last, and last but not least, mochi. It should be this box of assorted mochi. Oh. I got it at the airport before leaving Japan. And so it's like I wanted to bring it as souvenirs, and then I decided. Cares about other people. I like I like mochi. I will eat it. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I'm glad she's sharing it with me. Hey. Oh no! At least don't make the fryer. All right. Cause Plain it, white box. Yeah. Oh oh oh! It's so cute. Those are cool. Okay, so they have a whole bunch of different, like these are all these, but there are, it looks like there are four different kinds of mochi, and I don't know what kind of flavors they are, so yeah, this that's going to be... give any indication. This um, is going to be really interesting. Lemon, green tea, sakura, I don't know about that one. Right. Those just are just, plain mochi. Just plain mochi. Those this are my guesses. I'm going to say that I agree with the green tea. The matcha and the sakura and plain. But Lemon. this one Probably not. might be, I don't know, some kind of weird flavor. I don't know. Well, that let's find out. Just kidding, we're not gonna eat mm -hmm. well, four emoji. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably just gonna have my one. All 
right. And comes with those little hydration. Do not eat thingies. Glad that's in English. <laughs> Do not eat oxygen absorber. Yeah, that keeps food fresh. All right. So, pick your poison. <laughs> I will try the white one. I'm gonna go for yellow because I'm really curious as to what this flavor is. It smells weird. It smells like pickles. <laughs> Yours smells like pickles? Let me smell it. Okay, mine smells like that. You think that smells like pickles? It almost smells like like pickles or um There's something that I know the f I know what it is, but I can't. Oh it's place squishy. It. Yeah, it's basically like mushed up rice and this little mini like little rice thing. So this is what mine looks like. Ta-da! Mochi! Oh, that's weird. Looks like it has a darker... And that one is mine. Ooh, maybe yours is... They look kind of similar, but yours is darker. Yeah, mine's definitely... Oh gosh, that is... It feel if it, it feels like the extra skin around my dog's like mouth. Honestly, like like the little jaw, you just okay. Oh, yours might be filled with the same thing. I feel like it doesn't taste like anything. Does it taste like, like red bean, like beans, like red beans? Because I think that's what's filled. It's filled with. How's red bean filling? What the inside looks like. Ta -da! Looks like a move. It's good. I like it. You want to finish mine? <laughs> not a fan. No, not at all. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Like, I was turned off right by the texture. It's really sweet, too. Kind of like mm. honey. Wait a second. It's like the gummies you like. Mm -hmm. um, um, you don't like when stuff, like, melts apart really fast. I will eat that later. Yeah, you can try that one. Use that one. I'll go okay. first, since I uh -huh. obviously had the most displeasure. Honestly, mm -hmm. I would give that a 0 out of 10 for <laughs> me. That was not... Nope. I really liked it. I think red bean, like the red bean flavor just in general is something that is acquired or something that you have to instantly like and because I went to Japan and there was a lot of, <laughs> like, there was a lot of the red bean filling in the mochi that I had well, there. It's it, like just regular red beans, right? Like that, his, like, Hispanic then, people like to use in their food? Well, it's different, but the outside is basically like mushed up rice with a powder around it. That is really weird. I never expected rice to ever be in that texture. That is weird. That is all the food that I have. Thank you for joining me and experiencing my food with me. Some of it has been a pleasure. <laughs> Some of it. Just kidding. The whole time has been a pleasure because I've missed you. I miss you too. <laughs> Alright, so that is it for the video. I uh, hope you guys liked it. Thank you for Ex tuning in. Expect more food videos coming soon because I have a lot of food. <laughs> I have uh, a box of bean bo the Bean Boozled stuff and then I also have candy to do. So that's it. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon. Peace Bye. out, y'all. Weeboo mode activated.